Hey guys, welcome to the Max Invest YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over some huge news in the Ethereum network. There's tons and tons of different things that are happening on top of Ethereum. Reddit is using Ethereum, GameStop is likely going to be using Ethereum, and Discord is also using Ethereum, and all of these announcements have just came out in the past week or so, which is absolutely massive. Of course, if you enjoy the video, remember to like and subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, join the Discord channel, and remember, nothing in this video is financial advice. So let's get into the video. The first topic that I want to discuss is the Discord and Ethereum partnership. As you can see, Jason, who is one of the founders of Discord, posted a screenshot on his Twitter page. This screenshot shows that Ethereum is integrating with Discord. Essentially, what you're going to be able to do is you're going to go down to your connections page on Discord, and then you'll be able to connect with an Ethereum wallet address. Now, once you connect with that Ethereum wallet address, the possibilities are absolutely end endless. The first thing that I assume Discord is going to be doing is they're probably going to be doing something surrounding NFTs, such as allowing individuals to display their NFTs on Discord. However, there is so much more that you can do. Essentially, one of the things that I'm very, very bullish on is sign in with your web free identity. Essentially, everyone will have an Ethereum wallet address. So everyone should have MetaMask and you'll have your own unique wallet address. Now you can have an Ethereum name attached to that. So you could have max.eth attached to it or any other ENS name service attached to it. Now, what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to sign in with Ethereum. Essentially, when you want to connect to Discord, all you'll need to do is put in your wallet address and then you'll be able to connect with it. You just need to connect your wallet to Discord. This works with absolutely everything. Currently, if I'm using decentralized finance applications like Curve Finance or if I'm doing anything on Polygon, all I do is I sign in with my Ethereum address and this basically allows me to use whatever applications I want. Of course, this is currently only in the Web3 world, however, it looks like the Web2 world like Discord, Reddit and all of these other platforms are starting to integrate sign in with Ethereum, which is absolutely massive. Of course, we don't know all of the specific details about the Discord and Ethereum partnership. However, I assume there will be a lot of big things to come, and this makes me very, very bullish. Now, the next big thing that I wanted to talk about is Reddit is going to be using Ethereum. Essentially, what Reddit are doing is they're putting their community point system on top of the Arbitrum network. So this means that whenever you're buying or selling community points within Reddit, you're actually using the Ethereum network behind the scenes. Now, this is something that we've known since January, so this isn't new news. However, even bigger news came out about Reddit. Essentially, what Reddit did is Reddit hired a lead blockchain expert. Now, the lead blockchain expert is called Raul, and Raul essentially has the sound money signed for Ethereum on top of his Twitter page. So this blockchain expert absolutely loves Ethereum. He's been tweeting about zero knowledge rollups, volitions, validiums, and he's very, very interested in the Ethereum network. Essentially, what this blockchain expert did is he said that Reddit has a massive, massive plan. And what Reddit's plan is, is to decentralize social media. So he said that the entirety of Reddit and its 500 million users are all coming onto the Ethereum network. He is essentially going to be making Reddit into a decentralized application on top of Ethereum. Now, this is an absolutely massive move because Reddit right now is a centralized company. However, Raul has essentially said that they don't want Reddit to be centralized. They want it to be decentralized like the way the internet should be. And they're bringing the entire social media platform onto the Ethereum network. Now, this is absolutely massive because Ethereum and blockchains want decentralized social media on it. However, this isn't something that has taken off yet. 
Regardless, Reddit is essentially going to be deploying on the Ethereum network, which means Ethereum is going to be overnight getting 500 million users on top of it, decentralizing social media, and having hundreds of millions of people use the Ethereum network as a settlement layer. So this news is absolutely huge. I'm very, very bullish on it, and I'm so glad to see Reddit doing this. Reddit are really going down the right path here. They're very Ethereum focused, Ethereum centric, they're decentralization focused, and they want to turn Reddit into an application on Ethereum, which is really something I can get behind, and it makes me very, very bullish on the Ethereum network. Now, the next big bit of news is that GameStop is building an NFT marketplace. Of course, the first thing that GameStop will likely be doing with NFTs is it will allow individuals to buy and sell exclusive GameStop NFTs. However, I'm extrapolating a little bit when I say this. In my opinion, GameStop can do a lot more with NFTs. The first big thing that GameStop could do with NFTs is they could tokenize all of their games. They could get all of their video games, put those video games online, and then tokenize these video games. Now, there's a few huge benefits to actually tokenizing video games, tokenizing movies, and tokenizing these items that I do think this is going to happen in the future. The first big benefit is it allows someone to buy a game and sell that game to someone else. So someone can purchase from GameStop and sell it to someone else. Now, the benefit for GameStop is GameStop can take a royalty every single time this game is transacted between individuals, allowing them to continue making money. Now, the second big benefit of tokenizing games on GameStop would essentially be that GameStop can track and they can trace all of the games on a mutable base layer. What this means is it means it's going to be very, very difficult for people to pirate and steal games because GameStop can transact and track all of these games. Now, one important thing to note is GameStop have not yet said they're doing this. However, in my opinion, I do believe that this is going to be the future. And if anyone from GameStop is watching this, this would be my suggestion to actually tokenize all of these games online. This would give GameStop a huge advantage over all of the big online gaming companies, and it would probably help the business out a lot. Now, one of the big things that happened off this announcement is Loopring's token essentially went crazy. If you don't know what Loopring is, Loopring is essentially an Ethereum-based layer too. However, Loopring doesn't have that much hype. There's not that much use. There is a fair bit of use, but not way too much like Arbitrum or Optimism. And Loopring's token essentially started skyrocketing on the back of this news, which is quite cool to see. I am a fan of Loopring. I like what they're doing. Doing, and it does seem like they're doing a bit of work to catch up to the other layer twos, which is always nice to see. So with all of this layer two talk, I did want to see, say, a new milestone that was recently hit by layer twos. Essentially, Ethereum based layer twos have five billion dollars locked in them. Now, the Ethereum layer one essentially has around $170 billion locked in it right now off the top of my head. And overall, I do believe that this $170 billion is transitioning onto layer twos and more. Layer twos are still in their infancy. There's only 5 billion on them instead of 170 billion. However, in a few years, I do believe that most of the Ethereum network is going to be bought onto these layer twos, which is really, really good. So this brings us to the end of the discussion about a lot of news. There was one more thing that I wanted to point out, and essentially Rocket Pool just launched. So what this means is that you can stake your Ethereum with Rocket Pool in a fully decentralized way. When you stake your Ethereum with Rocket Pool, you're going to get a staking derivative, which is called RETH, and this staking derivative will just rebase and go up over time. I'm definitely going to be staking some of my ETH with Rocket Pool, as I really do like their values. Anyway, this brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like and subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching the video.